What's up, what's up? This is Paris Hart, and you're tuning into another episode of the Love With Podcast. Today, it's we have a different special guest. It's not the average guest that we have. We have a duo that's dynamic, intricate, and just making bangers. And to do it while being in a relationship just tops everything that I've heard. Welcome, 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 Ari. Yeah, thank you. Glad to be on here. So, what an intro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you guys deserve it. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Anytime. So to start it off, looking you guys up, we saw that Matt is from overseas and Tess is from the U.S. So after researching that, how has that really molded your careers and molded your sounds? And like, how's your background influenced you? <laughs> um, I think me um, being born in Vietnam and came over here really had nothing to do with the sound because because Vietnamese music is not the same as American <laughs> music, you know. So once I got over here, um, I was 10 years old, so yeah. I had to adjust to the American culture. So I basically had to adapt to her culture. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, and um, yeah. for me, uh, you know, I always loved all types of music, um, except dubstep, which is very ironic because I met Matt 10 years ago. And when I met him, he's like, oh, no, do you, do you like dubstep? And I'm like, no, you know, I don't listen to it. I'm not a fan of it. So he opened me up to this whole new world, which is ironic. You know, he's from Vietnam and he's showing me all this this new type of style. And then from there, that was like my favorite type of music. And so that's how he influenced me. <laughs> so that was in um, 2012 when, yeah. I mean, um, I was into dubstep like since like 2005, 2006. Yeah. Like, I before, was not. <laughs> before, yeah, before it was like a thing. And then I think um, 2012 it was when Skrillex like, just, you know, just yeah. broke the barrier. And then I think that's when people started to be like, okay, this is this pretty is cool. Sick. Yeah, it's a <laughs> yeah. whole new world. So yeah. And now it's my favorite genre. <laughs> <laughs> so from hearing it, when did you know that that was the route you wanted to take and that music was for you? Um, I started dancing when I was in eighth grade and I actually became a full-time dancer after I got out of high school and dancing to electronic music was like my specialty um, mm -hmm. from like Daft Punk, um, drum and bass. You know, I used to go to raves since I was like 16, you know, when raves were like all ages. So um Dance was my was my first love, and then after um, um, I got to travel around the world, you know, dancing to electronic music with uh, with my dance crew, Poriotics, and then after doing all that, my friend taught me how to DJ, and then I slowly transitioned from a full time dancer over to a DJ, and then I dive into more uh, music production, and that was right when we met. So as as I was learning it, I was also teaching her at the same time. So mm -hmm. we, were, we we were both learning, and you know, just I'm um, trying to figure things out at the same time. And we didn't know what the hell we were doing. Yeah. We were just we were just going on YouTube. You know, this is cool. We should try this. We should try that. And then eventually, we uh, we found our our you know our lane. Like this yeah. is what we want to be known for. You know, just um, intricate mixing. You know, with mashup and a little bit of um, live MIDI controllers. And a lot stuff. of moments. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We just want to do something that other people wasn't that other people weren't doing on stage. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Plus. Um, you only need one person to play on four decks and there's two of us, you know, and there's like two decks. It's like, we need, you know, we need to add something so we can <laughs> do something. <laughs> Dang, so that, that's that's so lit. First off, I just want to give a big shout out to both of y'all for being yeah. in a relationship because you hear so many times where someone says like, oh, you can't mix relationships in working. You, you're not supposed to do it. Like that's a big taboo. And to see you two do it and do it well is like, I'm, I'm at a loss of words. It's just like, yeah. that's amazing. How have you guys been able to do it and do it so well? Yeah, so, you know, we don't look at what we do as a business. It's more of a passion and it's both of our passions. And we get to live our dream reality together, traveling the world, doing what we love. So that takes the stressor out of it, you know? So it's not corporate, it's not anything intense. It's just what we love, it's music and yeah. It yeah, just we works. Just, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we just want to, you know, constantly improve our craft and just learn. Yeah. Learn and earn and share, you know. Yeah. And, <laughs> I mean, that's all it is, you know. Um, we're here now is because we mix what we do. You yeah. Know I mean, like, like we probably wouldn't 
our relationship wouldn't be this strong if if the music if we didn't have it yeah we've been together for 10 years and we're so in love and it's because we share that passion you know we get to do what we love together that's just like i can't ask for anything yeah i couldn't ask for anything better than that yeah that's that's so lit so anytime and who would you say influenced you two to really make your sound in music like who are you listening to when you're like i want to add this element from that artist yeah um i mean skrillex of course when yep. you know when he first blew up like that was like yeah his style of mixing too just yeah. 10 out of 10 every time like, yeah and then <laughs> um and then porter robinson came along and then Zed um, music. um my style i mean um, our style of mixing was really influenced by mainly porter robinson with just a lot of cuts and edits and uh-huh. mashup but um he doesn't um do that anymore you know he yeah. he, he totally changed his style but um, I would say Porter's mixing style was what influenced me to start like getting really intricate with it. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, um, of course, Excision, Zed, Knife Party. Yep. Yeah. Can't forget Knife Party. Yeah. <laughs> when you guys are creating, who really comes up with the idea or is it just like on the spot? Oh, you know, this will sound good. This sounds great. And just along those terms. Yeah, both of us. Both of us I mean, yeah. you know, um, a lot of the time, you know, we would just uh, go out and party and we'll hear other Doing DJ homework. Mix, you know, yeah, business meeting. Yeah, you know, like going out to us, uh, just, going uh, to festivals, raves, that's homework for us. And then we get inspired. We hear something, yeah. and we're like, oh, but what if we take this and do this? And it yeah. just, we bounce it We'll just it off write it other. down yeah. and we'll go home and then we'll look it up and we'll be like, okay, so we heard this, we heard yep. this. We have a whole wanna... list from <laughs> this past weekend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's that. It's both of us. What really are you listening to right now? Oh, um, sure. I don't really listen to music at home. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. think it for when we go out because that's what yeah. makes it special. If yeah. we're listening to it all the time at home and we go out, it doesn't feel special anymore, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna have when to we drive in the that. car, silence. <laughs> yeah. Like I drive with like no music on just to be quiet because because we go to so much shows yeah. that it's like it's like it's not as fun when you hear it every day. Yeah, like you know true. what I mean? Because um, back then, you know, I used to get really excited going to raise because it's like, it wasn't like, it was like once a month or like mm-hmm. once every three months, you know, we get all excited. But now it's now like, it's, it's literally like every weekend, yeah. you know, here, you know, the same style. So like when we get home, just kind of like. Keeps it special. Just, just, just chill. I like Chelsea <laughs> Cutler, you know, some vibey, vibey type yeah. music. And that's what I listen to. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so the music, music tends to be like more stressful than a lot of people realize from the outside. Between- oh, yeah between like raves between working and going out what do you guys tend to do in your free time oh yeah so um i paint i do pole fitness art lots of artsy stuff sports volleyball tennis yeah fun stuff um we try to spend time with our daughter our daughter yeah yeah we have a (laughs) four-year-old so we try to take her out and just do family stuff stuff. (laughs) (laughs) you know we used to party all the time but now it's like yeah, I outgrew it a little bit, you know, been there, done that. Now we just want to enjoy and be healthy and happy. That's what's up. Is it hard to balance that the life of like, all right, I got to change the serious. I got to be a parent to, all right, it's time to get in business mode. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's, Having a kid absolutely changed everything for us. Um, you have yeah, to plan ahead. You have to, you know, put aside time and then you have the social media and the travel. Um, it's a lot of planning. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of stress. It was a lot of lack of sleep, <laughs> but you know, we love it. So we, yeah. we make it work and we're grateful to be doing what we love. Yeah. Having a kid, is like having a full-time job, but you don't oh. get paid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very rewarding though. Yeah. Very rewarding. You can't call in. You got to be there. <laughs> you you got to show up. You got to show up, man. You know? <laughs> but like yeah. I said, for the boss rewarding. be calling mm-hmm. anytime, anytime and, and, and you got to show up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No pay. (laughs) It was for free. Um, What advice would you have for someone that's, that's trying to an inspiring artist or an inspiring duo? That's like, you know, I have a, like, I have a kid on the side, but maybe I don't have time to work. What would you say to someone that comes to you and, and says that? So I would definitely say utilize social media because social media in today's day and age can get you so far. Social media is what built our careers. If it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be known. Um, You can blow up in 
a minute on one reel on Instagram. And then the second thing that I would say is utilize, Consistency. yes, is utilize YouTube. You can learn anything on YouTube, literally yeah. anything you want. Yeah, we learned free. everything off, we off YouTube. Self-taught, no class. anything you need, no class. Everything on YouTube. It's all available to you now. Yeah. Use the tools. Now it's even better. Now, yes. now it's, it's like even more. Everything. There's even more shit. Yeah. It's so cool. Yeah, it's so awesome. Back then, like you really had to look, but now it's like yeah. easy. Yeah. And just stay consistent, dedication every day yeah consistency start now it'll be one day better than you were yesterday (laughs) yeah that's it dang so what was your what was your support system like because i know that you said you were a dancer before um how was how was your your family your friends and your group when you were like all right dancing is it was fun dancing but i really want to switch to music production and everything in that nature yeah i think um well um when i decided to switch over i basically um retired from teaching you know and um, a lot of my students were sad but um a lot of them still you know uh, wanted to follow my my, yeah they still my music journey Um, yeah i we actually moved to vietnam because i had a dance gig there i was a judge for uh for his dance show and i was also promoting uh, myself as a dj so then all the people that you know used to watch me dance now they come to our show and yeah. now they dance you know they're like, we I, play music yeah. for them to dance so they're like i watched you when i was like 10 years old <laughs> they're yeah. like 20 now it's crazy it's wow. so crazy yeah very supportive very supportive yeah super super thankful for yeah them. all the kids that used to watch me that wasn't old enough to go watch me dance now they actually get to come, come to, to the shows our show. yeah it's epic hey that's what's up yeah Damn. That, that's so crazy that you could just do that because i'm I'm 100% sure that you're not only doing that in Vietnam, but you're doing that in the U.S. And yeah. just doing that everywhere and being able to perform, like, what what do you enjoy more? Do you enjoy going out there meeting fans or performing on stage and seeing them just go crazy to what you create? Or do you enjoy more, like, creating the, the music that everyone dances to? I'm definitely more of a performer type. Yeah, I'm the same. So it's like when we're on stage and we're playing our music and we see that energy to our songs like there's nothing that beats that it's like wow you're loving yeah. what we made for you so, and you know we're here because of you so it's just a full circle it's really cool yeah dang do you have like any routine or like all right before i get on stage i have to do a b c and d or is it like i'm just gonna go out there and go crazy yeah we tell each other like hey don't fuck up tonight. don't fuck up no, no, for me I, I take my seat <laughs> i take my cd kidding. i do some breath work i'll stretch a little bit and i'm like got this and then i feed off the energy that people give no, that's no, it. no routine. Just, oh no, just, yeah, no routine. Just, yeah, just, just, just stretch, Dang. just in case I pull like pull. My, I always pull my neck muscle. Pull like my <laughs> finger. <Yeah. laughs> no, it's not like that. It's no, it's pretty chill. I mean, you know, um, we just make our set and um, everything is cute. You know, we know our, our routines, like the back of our hand. So we're, we're ready. <laughs> hey, uh, I know a couple artists in the past have said like like the rush of performing after they get off stage, it's really hard for them to go to sleep or it's really hard oh. for them. To- oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, because you get all hyped up and then all and of then a sudden you go to, you, you go meet back to all bed your, and your all, like, fans and you're, you're like, so up. you have all their energy and it's just like so exciting. So we take um, CBD to sleep <laughs> and then we're good. Hey. But yeah, it's very like restless. Yeah. If, if actually on that topic, if there's someone out there that wants to try it, what, where can they reach out to and how can they get a hold of it? Oh yeah, um, my CBD is uh, called Crystal Body Drip. So crystalbodydrip.com, water soluble CBD. <laughs> yeah, it's a real but, deal. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> that a a lot of like artists coming up and are trying to get into that like promotions or getting into other brands or having their own brands. Oh, and yeah. yeah, how important do you think that is to be not only an artist but a business person in this day and age? Honestly, I think it's super important to have more than one thing. For example, during the pandemic, we lost all our shows, but I have a wig line and I have a CBD line. So that is what carried us during those times. It's always good to have multiple streams of income and have them also be your passion. You know, I'm passionate about health, which is CBD. I'm passionate about wigs, which, you know, yeah. And it's just, it's awesome. It's awesome to have something else. It's a lot of time though. (laughs) It's a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. No time for sleep. But why not? Why not have multiple things that you like to do, you know? Do it all. <laughs> For real. 
focusing on health, how, how important would you say that is? I think that that is the most important thing that you can focus on. I think that that needs to be a priority overall, especially being traveling artists. Um, you're going city to city. You're not getting the type of sleep that you need. You need to be getting that nutrition. You need to be juicing and trying to get the proper sleep when you can, you know, it's, it's great. You need to have that for longevity, because if you, you know, if yeah, you don't take care of, of your yeah, health, of you're, gonna, you're not going to be able to do it. Exactly. A lot of people, they tap out. And along with yeah. that, mental health also, you need to be feeding your soul and taking care of, of you. Yeah, it's actually a very, very, uh, it's, it's a very draining. It's, very, it's a very dangerous, but also very draining, fun. Yes. Draining and exhausting profession. if you don't, you know, take everything else seriously. So, you know, take care of it all. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. <laughs> We're very so, health conscious. So I like that question. <laughs> so I realized that a lot of four to the floor music is, I, I might like, I might be a bad judge, but I think it's kind of generic. But when I hear you two, it's more like you grab influences from different places. Like you're thinking out of the box. What really got you into that the mindset of like, you know what? I forget those people. We're going to do this and that. And we're just going to push the limits. Yeah, I mean, um, it's just basically coming from my dance background, yeah. you know, um, every dancer goes on stage, nobody want to dance the same song that the other dancer has, has danced to. And I mean, this happens a lot in in, in, uh, <clears throat> in the dance world, you know, there's like a hot song comes out and then they'll be like, they're all dancing to it. Yeah, everyone's dancing to it. And I would always be the one like, I'm gonna stay away from it. I'm gonna, you know, do something else. So when I when um, there's a new song that comes out, I know that everyone's gonna play it. I'm gonna try to make it where it's not the same. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Got to stand out. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any type of specific dancing that you enjoyed back then? Um, back then, um, I got, um, I was definitely started out as a hip hop dancer first, and then I, um, I got into more funky, you know, so I became a popper. And then after that, I just started mixing hip hop and pop in it. Became a robot. Yeah. <laughs> just, just mixing everything. I just, I just wanted to be able to like dance um, a little bit of each style. And that's 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 where um, our music style comes from. A little bit of each, mm -hmm. but it's still under one very specific genre. But it's still like mixed with like other things, mm -hmm. Lots of other but not influence. like too far away. <laughs> far but not too far. <laughs> <laughs> do you still do you still like dance to this day, or are you like, nah, I'm I'm chilling on that? Nah, I actually don't even have much time to even. Yeah. Go to he's so good, which anymore. makes me sad. I wish he would. I think in time he'll get back think, to his think, roots. Once yeah, little Minnie just, wants to learn how to dance, yeah, just, we'll bring it back. Yeah, it's just a lot going on right now. But I think once my daughters start to like, yeah, you know, can like actually like pay attention and like learn, <laughs> <laughs> then I'll probably that's I'll, gonna be cool. Yeah, I'll probably start dancing again. But as of right now, just too much going on. No. <laughs> like as the interview keeps going on, I realize that you two are more of like. You could tell that you're not just doing music just to do it. Like you're doing it for the love and the interactions from doing it. Oh how, yeah. Yeah. How what what are some crazy interactions or some interactions that you're like, wow, like I can't believe that happened. And it just keeps going, whether it be a performance or after a fan walking up. I think um what makes me happy the most is when uh, fans coming up and like letting us know that how we changed our lives. Yeah. Like, yo, I've been listening to you guys all this year. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and you brought me out of yeah. dark places. Yes. And yeah, yeah, they feel that connection with us. Yeah. Like we feel it with them. Yeah, it feels it's nice beautiful. that we are making a difference you yeah. know, to people's lives. Yeah, because we do it for them. So hearing yeah. that feedback is everything to us because we wouldn't be where we are without them, right? So it's beautiful. Yeah. If they like it, We'll be happy. Yeah. If they don't like it, we'll be sad. We'll throw it away. <laughs> Very simple. <laughs> you don't like this song? Trash. <laughs> <laughs> so the fan, I bet the fans out there are just really, really watching you. What upcoming events or upcoming releases do you have? Wait, wait shh, shh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're so, doing a game a video next. <laughs> no, but sorry. Can you repeat that? Um, the fans seem to like, like really, really just be on you on social media as to just watching everything you do. What are some of the upcoming projects that they could be ready for and events? Um, we are putting together a new EP for them um, for Christmas, mm -hmm. you know, Christmas, New Year around that time. And it's going to be something special along with it. We can't, we can't say it yet, but it's going to be something we have never done before. It's going to be new and it's going to be a new form of a release. Yeah. Yeah. But we can't tell you. 
<laughs> Wait and <Yeah>. see. <laughs> well, this is the asking too much. What was it like creating it? <laughs> oh, well, we're oh. still in the process of it. Yeah, yeah. We actually have a oh, meeting today. next about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have two months to get it going. So, yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. So everyone out there tuning in, be on the lookout. Yes, yeah. for Christmas, a Christmas drop. Yeah. We'll announce it soon. We'll announce it. We'll do some previews. Vet that. So besides that, um, where can everybody get your products, like the CBD, the wigs? Yeah, so um, my wig line is called Lit Unicorns, so litunicorns.com. My CBD line is called Crystal Body Drip, crystalbodydrip.com. And then we also have a clothing line for Arius, and that's Arius.com. Oh, Ariusofficial.com, sorry. And yeah. I think yep. that's all we do. Yep, we'll spend some money on us. <laughs> that, that. Everyone check it out. I know I'm going to get some of that merch. Oh, and yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. <laughs> Anytime. And where can the fans reach reach out to you at or, or speak with you at? Yeah, any of our uh, social uh, leave media. Leave a comment. I mean, yeah, we, we, we always reply to mm -hmm. everybody. Yeah. yeah. Arius. Yeah. Arius Instagram. That's our main. Yeah, just drop a comment. Mm -hmm. Send us a DM if you have any questions on anything. We Yeah, we reply to Yeah. You. We run it. So what's up guys? This is Arius and you are now tuning into the love of it podcast.